how one contemplates of oneself, how one thinks of oneself is going to help to determine how one carries oneself and how one acts. So we must have these positive thoughts and positive outlooks upon ourselves when we think about ourselves, when we look about, upon ourselves. So we should put on things that make us feel good. Put on things that make us feel good, such as clothes, colors, fragrances, beautify ourselves. Everybody is somebody sometimes. Everybody is someone always. Somewhere in your heart just tells you you're somebody today. You are now tuned in to Freeing the Minds TV. Home to mindful living. Peace, love, and light. Indeed. Peace and love. Peace and love. Welcome back to www.freeintheminds.com and another episode of The Art of Peace. The Art of Peace. Once again, no idea in mind. No in particular design per se. We're just going to go on in and freestyle our illustrations. Now, freestyling illustrations for a peace of mind and drawing and illustrating for a peace of mind. Clearing the body, clearing the mind, clearing the spirit and allowing the spirit to be in a moment of pure creativity. No intended goals, no intended subject, just simply illustrate. And today, for today's illustrations, we're gonna be doing the Reeves uh, soft pastels, as well as the black charcoal, a black charcoal. And then if we get around to it, we'll be using some expressionist, extra fine quality oil pastels if we get around to them. But I'll keep you tuned on to what we're doing, where we're going there, while we're using them. So you can kind of keep up in as far as what we're using, as far as where we're going, who knows. Without further ado, we're just gonna go right on in now. You know, art always provides a groundation of clarity, a place to clear the mind, whatever's on one's mind, whatever's on one's mind. Art is another place that one can go where they can just really clear their being. So, with this one, you know, I like doing those portraits. So ultimately, what I'm gonna end up doing is here, kind of something similar. Just starting off with, don't know where exactly where I wanna go, then we always just start off with a face. And let that face decide what it's going to tell you, what type of mood it is. So when you go out in today's world, we've been having a lot of heat waves happening here. A whole lot of heat waves happening here. Extra hot. And with that extra hotness, you got to deal with it. Comes extra situations, you know, frustrations. You can get one frustrated or not. But to keep from overheating, AC helps out, but to keep from dehydrating, one must stay liquidated. Keep liquids in the their bodies.
Mm-hmm. And the face will show you, really, where it's going. top with a little bit of that red for the lips. somebody everybody is somebody So you go through life wondering where you're going, traveling, never really knowing what direction you're truly traveling. You have things on one side, you have things on another side, all speaking in your ear. One thing and another. Man. 
meditation. Meditation. Contemplation. Meditation, contemplation, and then you got action. Meditation, contemplation, and action. circles all your circles for that matter are everywhere. It's almost like it's almost like the circle circle in the square. Now let's take a look at this. Somebody sometime Everybody is someone always Somewhere in your heart just tells you You're somebody today Circles, why circles? I can't really tell you why the circles, to be honest with you Everything is circles, X's and O's sure exactly what those about but nature covers us man 
You can't get outside your nature even when you try. A human being can only do so many things. I like the colors. I really like the colors. Sometimes all it takes is a little bit of creativity. Just trying things out. Nothing in particular. Just trying things out. colors are ultimately just kind of like effects man the after effects of being the one who lives vibrantly the natural effect will be radiance color vibrancy life one's mind must stay in tip top shape. Keep the sun shining in the mind. The sun of the mind shining. at it thanks yax Call me. Here. Call me here. while here reach me while I'm here because when he's gone you never know everybody is somebody's all times everyone is someone always in your own eyes one must see this in one's own heart one must see this they must have that light inside of them 
to be able to recognize. They might have that light inside of them to be able to recognize. And if they do not have that eye inside of them to be able to recognize, it will be hard to see all that is before oneself. colors up top, dark colors gets heavier towards it gets to the bottom, towards the grounding. What I'm seeing here is one's relationship with, one, with oneself, the relationship with oneself. Um, how one thinks, how one acts, how one is, how one carries oneself is going to ultimately determine the expression in life in which they radiate. Same time, it's going to determine expression in life and how they see themselves, who they are. How one contemplates of oneself, how one thinks of oneself is going to help to determine how one carries oneself and how one acts. So we must have these positive thoughts and positive outlooks upon ourselves when we think about ourselves, when we look about, upon ourselves. So we should put on things that make us feel good. Put on things that make us feel good, such as clothes, colors, fragrances. Beautify ourselves. Beautify ourselves with the things that we appreciate the decor that we appreciate, the decorations that we appreciate. It could be the ring of our ancestors, the glasses of our forefathers, the clothes and shirts of our grandparents wearing the war jacket that grandfather went to war in. Or just drinking out of the same cup that grandmama used to drink out of. And then thinking about them. Recalling those who came before us all the gifts and things that they instilled within us, the things of which they instilled within us were acts, thoughts, actions, behavioral patterns, thought processes, which ultimately infused through our heart, went through our hearts and into our minds to decide who we are and how we're going to express these things. So everyone doesn't necessarily express the same thing the same way, but every one individual is unique in their own expression, individual expression. The circles, the triangles, and the squares, ultimately the basic foundations in life, the solid structures, the consistencies, and from which these shapes, all shapes come from, the circle, giving birth to the triangle and the square, which give birth to all the polygons, multi-angular, multi-sided objects structures. He thinks, he acts, he these. If one thinks love, one acts in love, one is love. If one thinks positive and acts positive, one is positive. If one thinks strong and one acts strong, one is strong. As one thinks, as one acts, one is. So whatever it is that we desire to become, we must be it. And the becoming is nothing but a practice into being. Practicing this thing every day, over and over, over and over, getting better, refining oneself, getting better, shaping oneself up, getting better, being able to see the visuals within one's own mind and carry those out, whether it be in the form of choreography, whether it be in the form of dance, whether it be in the form of illustration or conversation. One sees the vision within one's mind and carries it out. The processes of life and the process of creation are one and the same. They are processes of becoming. You are who you are always have been going through stages to become all that one is. At each point, at each phase, at each second, in each step one sees who one is and where one is in the path of becoming. If we're familiar with the course and the road, 
it becomes easier to determine where we're at. In fact, we can pinpoint precisely exactly where we're at if we're familiar with the road, if we know where we're going and we have the road maps to get there. Then all these markers and all these points and all these things along our journey will be nothing but markers and points and emphasis to show and prove that you are right where you're supposed to be along that path. Going over the hills in Colorado, the mountain caps might be snowy, though it may be summer. Areas that may be cold where it should be hot, but during the seasons and you knowing the time and the climates in those atmosphere, you'll be all right. You won't be thrown off thinking you're somewhere else or thinking things are out of whack. By this point, everything is out of whack just about. No, but um, life is going where it's going, man. And a lot of things are out of whack and out of place. And those things that we see out of place and out of whack, we desire our duty to refine them up. Adding on in whichever capacity and way you can. Drawing up the best way you know how. So, I'm looking at this piece as a piece of ultimately just talking about, just sketch, rough sketch, saying, call me while here. While people are going through their stages of developing and their stages of becoming, how one acts as one thinks, so one is. Reach them where they're at. Meet people where they're at. Meet them where they're at. If one needs love, you give them love. If one needs light, you give them light. If one needs just an ear, you give them an ear. If one needs a hug, you give them a hug. But you meet them where they're at. Call me while here. Work with me while I'm here. And don't call me when I'm gone. Because when I'm gone and going over there, I'll be over there. And I'll no longer be here. Ultimately, value the things that are in your life while you have them. Value the people in your circle while you have them. Value while you can. Because there will be a time when you can no longer value these things. No longer call these things. No longer reach out to these things. No longer grasp these things. No longer engage with these things. So in value, all that is now. Mm. Be patient, calm, and grounded in the pursuit of one's own happiness, in the pursuit of one's own peace of mind. Be radiant and vibrant. Acknowledging your colors, compromising them not, but only giving glory to the greater good of all concern, giving glory to the greatest aspects of yourself, the highest self. That being said, we give thanks, praises, glory, and honor this day, this life, all that is in them, we give thanks for. And I hope this illustration helps to bring a peace of mind. And even if the illustration makes no sense whatsoever, I hope you enjoyed your time here. That being said, I thank you again for tuning on in to Freeing the Minds, another episode of The Art of Peace. And we will be back again shortly. Thank you again for tuning in. Wish you nothing but love and light this beautiful and blessed day. Thank you. Peace. Visit www.freeingtheminds.com for your unique, original Freeing the Minds merchandise and apparel. 